a barrier that's going to keep them from entering the house. Exactly its purpose. It doesn't mean you did any better. I can't you. Why is your belly so big if you don't have any kittens in there? Hi, Keshu. Hi. Hi, sweetie pie. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. I know we're a little early. Okay, she's scared. Mm -hmm. Who's scared? Keshu. Yeah, well, of course. Camera angles. You yeah, start from the back because that's the older People have been waiting for a long, long time. Let's see. Good. Interesting. That's interesting. So, uh, this onesie was given to me by Ella at the uh, Kitten Academy convention, and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because DJ keeps stealing it and wearing it. This is my first chance, but I insisted. I'm going to take off my hat because it's just way too hot. Those things can really keep you warm, too much warm. Anyway. Uh, we've got two weeks worth of mailbag here, and I don't know if we're going to make it through, but we'll try, and uh, we'll cut it off at noon. So if we go until noon and there's still more mail, we're just going to have to push it. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning, more likely we'll push it until next week, because uh, tomorrow's going to be a busy day for us already. Tomorrow, at least in theory, we have Gracie's adoption that will be happening tomorrow sometime in the morning. And then uh, there's a little Christmas get-together for On Angel's Wings volunteers that I'm going to tomorrow afternoon, so I'm excited about that. Should be fun. And uh, I guess that's it for news, really. Not much else to say. You guys have already all met the mom cat. Oh, but DJ's named the mom cat officially. So she's, she's got it. The name is Lorraine, as in Quiche Lorraine. Um, so that'll be our theme, I think, is probably a quiche kind of a theme. And uh, Lorraine's an R.I. name. We might end up calling her Lori, or I probably am going to end up calling her Quiche quite a bit, because I think that's even cuter. But uh, officially, it's Lorraine, so there you have it. Uh, obviously, we missed Mailbag last week because I was just sick, just really, really sick. Um, this week, my back is still hurting just a little bit, but I took plenty of uh, painkillers for that, so I should be all right to make it through the mail bag. Look at this little cutie bean. You want to sit right here with me and hang out? You can do that. You can be part of this. No, no, no. There's room for everybody. Okay. Well, we have lots of letters to get through, and that's how we always start. So, ooh, I left my mail bag my toolbox up here. I gotta get that. Hang on. Okay. All right, back to try again. DJ, are you ready? What? Yeah. Okay. Don't make me speak loudly, just so you. All right then. Don't do that. Well, it looks like our first letter is from Winnie and Gary. Oh boy. So we've got two cats on the front of the card and it says, last Christmas I swallowed a bar ball of yarn. And the other one says, oh yeah, what happened? And then on the inside it says, I had mittens. I had mittens. Uh, <laughs> I get it. I get it. It does. That's very good. Merry Christmas. Mr. A and DJ, thank you for letting us come to Kitten Academy. Aww. Hope your Christmas is uh, happy Christmas, I see. Uh, and it says, love, Winnie and Gary. And 
It is actually from Winnie and Gary. They wrote it. They did write it. Yes, they've got some tidy handwriting too. And I mean, okay, maybe by tidy I mean sloppy in this case. And they also sent us some Starbucks gift cards with cats on them. That's the cutest gift card. Wow, we've seen a, a few Starbucks gift cards in our time, but that's definitely my favorite so far. I will hand this over to DJ so that she can figure out what to do about the gift cards and so she can have a look at this and catalog it. Yes, she does. Here you go. Very adorable. Thank you, Winnie and Gary. You guys are just the cutest little kittens still. They wrote it. Oh, my God. I need to know how they did that. <laughs> well, they learned all everything they know at Kitten Academy. Aww. Look at this. This is such a cute card. Hey, look at this. It's a it's a picture of a couple kittens with the Kitten Academy logo, and it says "Merry Kitty Miss to a Special Couple." And then on the inside, it says, "Dear Mr. A and DJ, wishing yourselves, the faculty, and all the tiny kittens a very peaceful and loving Christmas. With love from the UK, Michelle and Anthony, Shelby Stargazer on Discord." Michelle and Anthony, who's Shelby Stargazer on Discord and Twitter. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. So we have never in our lives thought of doing Christmas cards because that's, you know, it's a lot of work. Fundamentally, we're lazy. And uh, uh, this year, though, we made an exception, and DJ has created Christmas cards that she's going to send out. I think her plan is to send it to everybody that's appeared in the mailbag log. Um, they just showed up today, so hopefully we managed to get them out in time to actually arrive by Christmas, but they're really pretty cards. DJ did a great job with them. I'm really excited. They're not that great. Yeah, they're great. They're really great. Well, here we have a card that doesn't even say who it's from, or maybe it does. It says, nine cute kittens to help you feel better. This must be in response to me being so sick last week. And then they say, wishing you the furry best. Aw, oh, look at me. Surrender to the cuteness. Thought you could use some warm fuzzies. Hope you're feline better. Please pounce back soon. I recommend a cat nap. Sorry you're not feeling perfect. You deserve to feel good, and I'm not kitten around. If this doesn't work, we have puppies. And then I guess it's signed from all the KA students. Oh, really? Which is cute. That's adorable. What? Thank you so much. That's the only signature on it. Oh my god, I bet the Kazoo Network. It, it could have been the Kazoo Network, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Could get it on. How did they do that? I don't know. There you go. There's no clue as to who it's actually from. Maybe it really actually is from all the KA students. All the KA students. Thank you so much, KA students. <laughs> Here we have a card that says right on the front. What's that? Oh, Chestnut might have sent it. <laughs> we have a card that says on the front it's from the Brulots, and we have what appears to be a, a flying cat in sort of a pilgrim uh, garb, I guess, with a buckle hat and a big collar. It says, "Okay to read on stream." Dear Chris and DJ, here comes your big Thanksgiving hug. Thank you so much for allowing Perry and I to visit Kitten Academy. The trip was beyond amazing and definitely exceeded the expectations of both of us. I look forward to seeing you soon. Love you both so much. Much love. Squeeze a kitten for me. Brew XOXO. And then on the inside, it says, OK to read on stream. And there is another card, and it says... Dear Chris, I realized something about you after mailbag last week, and I wanted to share it because I'm not sure you know it yourself. It was prompted by your discussion of how you used to sew. I was thinking about how that's pretty awesome, and then remembered that you also made your own 3D printer and Bluetooth Star Trek communicator. I'm sure you've designed and made a lot of other pieces of technology that we haven't heard about yet. Then there's the heat box you made for the cats and the cat run. I know your brother built it, but I bet you had the idea and were extensively involved in the design. Furthermore, you obviously love taking photographs and you create some beautiful art with them, not only of cats, but also gorgeous photos from your trip to India and amazing portraits of DJ. It's obvious that you love doing it, but you're good at it, too. You produce some great videos for Kitten Academy, not to mention the close-ups we get nearly every night and, of course, the live stream. 
All this compounds together to make me realize that you aren't just a great guy who cares for cats on YouTube, you're a creator. And arguably the best thing you've created along with DJ is the Discord community. I know I've thanked you before for opening up your home, your lives, and yourselves to all of us, but the impact you've had on me and on hundreds or thousands of others cannot be understated. So I'm going to keep saying it. Thank you. Much love. Squeeze a kitten for me. Dr. Brew. P.S. I forgot that you can cook, too. Can you make anything? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brew. That's really, really sweet, and now I'm completely embarrassed. So I don't know what to say to that. Um, I have spent uh, a lot of time making various things. I don't think I'm especially good at it, but I have fun with it, and that's what's really important. Uh, and I just want to say to anybody, you know, anybody that wants to start sort of doing their own thing, just do it and have fun, and, th and then you get good later if you get good. Some of us don't. All right, uh, here we have another card. It says, uh, it's got a picture of Santa Claus having a cup of coffee with Rudolph while all of the other reindeer are waiting and two penguins are looking on and the penguins are saying, Eric, why Santa stopped to make Rudolph a cup of coffee? And then on the inside it says, because he's one of his Starbucks. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. That's a pretty good one. I like that. It says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. Hopefully, all the trees and burbs will be adopted by Christmas, and you have time to spare to recharge your batteries ahead of a new batch of kitties. We started following Kitten Academy after the BBC ran the story of Charlie and have been hooked ever since. 2017 has seen a lot of kitties, and it is amazing how attached one can get to them from so far away. We wish you, the faculty, the alumni, and all their adopters a great festive season and a happy new year. Best wishes, Mad Mark on Discord. Mark and Sue. Mad Mark on Discord. <laughs> and then there's also a postcard in here that is a picture of a mom cat with a bunch of kittens. And then another cat is talking to the mom cat. The other cat is saying, can I borrow those kittens for an hour? I want to freak out the people who had me spayed. Those are really cute. Thank you so much, Mark and Sue. That's really, really sweet. And uh, that uh, BBC interview was a lot of fun. Um, I wish they would interview us again. I think it's about time. I should give them a call. Not that we're friends with the BBC or anything. Uh, all right. Moving right along. Oh. Here we have, oh, Mr. Elso Cat has written to us again. And this has, uh, <laughs> this has, on the back, there's pictures of three jingle bells and a rock. And it says, in case you don't get it, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock. That's pretty cute. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Are you going to make it through two hours of mailbag, Gracie, or are you going to get worn out before then, huh? Oh, my goodness. Wow. I think you sent this to me just so that I could read it. Can I save it and try to read it out loud later on when we have a little more time, though? It's very long. I'll give them a flavor of it, Mr. Elso Cat. It is the night before Christmas, and it is apparently done up in the most sort of uh, pompous scientific language you could possibly hope for. So here we have, "'Twas the night before Christmas. "'Twas the nocturnal segment of the diurnal period preceding the annual Yuletide celebration, and throughout our place of residence, kinetic activity was not in evidence among the possessors of this potential, including that species of domestic rodent known as Mus Musculus, Hosiery was meticulously suspended from the forward edge of the wood-burning caloric apparatus, pursuant to our anticipatory, anticipatory pleasure regarding an imminent visitation from an eccentric philanthropist among whom folkloric appellations is the honorific title of St. Nicholas. The prepubescent siblings, comfortably ensconced in their respective accommodations of repose, we're experiencing subconscious visual hallucinations of variegated fruit confections moving, rhythmic, moving rhythmically through their cerebrums. My conjugal partner and I, attired in our nocturnal head coverings, 
We're about to take slumberous advantage of the hibernal darkness upon <laughs> when upon the adventurous exterior, po <laughs> exterior portion of the grounds there ascended such a cacophony of dissonance that I felt compelled to arise with alacrity from my place of repose for the purpose of ascertaining the precise source thereof. Okay, it continues in that vein, and uh, um, thank you, Mr. Elsocat. That's very clever. I'd love to read the whole thing, but with this packed mailbag, uh, I'm going to have DJ set it aside. Maybe we can get to it later and do it for a Christmas reading. It's very cute. Thank you, Mr. Elsocat. And, oh, wait, what's this next letter? It's a letter from Mr. Elsocat. And this says, <laughs> we've got two pictures of Simone. Simone's tree is up. And then we have Twizzy, Twiz the Night Before Christmas. Those are very cute names. Um, I don't think either of those are related to Mr. Elsocat, but they're very cute. And let's see what we've got in here. First, we have a little note. <coughs> Excuse me. It is fun to share my three cards, one to come, if I still have it, that I got for my kids. They don't care anymore. I do keep some of my cards people gave me. I'm sorry, I do keep some of my cards people gave me. You got one card that was given to me years ago, the kitten singing happy birthday. I have loved sharing that one with Kitten Academy and for Mr. A's birthday. In time... That card would stop singing in my basket. Time to pass it along. The last card is another shoebox one. No cranberry sauce in that one. We laugh at a can of cranberry sauce on a plate with the can rings showing. Tacky! I just love that old lady on the shoebox cards. Okay. So, here we have um, some horses gathered near a Christmas tree looking in a bag that says from Santa on the front. And on the back, we've got a bunch of horses, I think, um, yep, a bunch of horses with a farmer, and there's a Christmas tree and a barn cat and a couple of barn dogs, and all the Christmas, uh, all the horses have their Christmas lists uh, next to their stall. Um, for instance, this one says, Dear Santa, I've been a very good horse. Please bring me my own five-acre grass field and a vacation. Thank you. So cute. Mr. A is viewing the barn. The cat's dear Santa letter states the wants of tuna, mice, and fish. Oh, there's a, there's a cat has a list, too. Oh, it does say, dear Santa, tuna, mice, and fish. Signed, and there's a little paw print from the cat. That's very cute. <coughs> My favorite very good horse wants to own a five-acre grass field and a vacation. Next door neighbor wants a ton of carrots. Some horses want a good rider, silk leg wraps, mane, moose, and an extra soft brush. The little dog wants bones and cookies. They do the paw prints, too. Mr. A needs to do a lot of kisses. Note the ceiling. Hope all get what they want. So cute. Thank you so much, Mr. Elsocat. That's really sweet. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, i got to clear my throat a little bit. Have some coffee. You guys remember when we got this mug in the mailbag? Isn't it cute? It's calico in honor of the new mom cat. And if you look when I take a drink, the uh, the bottom actually has little paw beans on it. It's very cute. Okay, Mr. A's mom has also sent us a letter, and the return address says Mr. A's mom. Of course, everybody on the Discord chat knows her as Nedra. Okay, the front of the card is three singing cats. They're caroling, and they say, Angels on treetops and tinsel so shiny, porcelain Santas and reindeer quite tiny, low-hanging ornaments, popcorn on strings. Say goodbye to your favorite things. <laughs> With a pop-up of a kitty jumping on the Christmas tree. Happy holidays. Love, Mom. Wow, that is a, just a disaster inside. That's really cute. Thank you so much. That's an adorable card. This is definitely going to go up on our wall of cards in the kitchen that we have. I really like it. We have a kitchen? Is the kitchen that we have? It is the kitchen that we have. Hey, are you starting to get along? I mean, that was a big hiss, but you were over there playing with everybody. That counts for something, doesn't it? I think it does. All right, I think, I think we made it through the letters, the, the proper letters. Um, there's a couple little packages here. Oh, 
And we're going to skip to this one. Uh, this one was opened ahead of time because of Loganberry, so we don't have the package for it. But it does say, okay to read on the live stream, and it's sealed with a tiny reindeer. Dear Mr. A and DJ, we are Julie and Catherine, sisters and cat lovers. This is our first time writing into the mailbag. We started watching the Kitten Academy just before Angel's Fish were born. It's been so fun to watch so many kittens grow up and go off to great loving homes. We have family members with cat allergies, so sadly, uh, so we, we are sadly catless. However, when we watch the Kitten Academy, we feel like we have a house full of pets. Thank you for the joy you bring us each day with the close-up streams and the regular live stream. We're sending you a copy of our all-time favorite audiobook. It's about a blind kitten named Homer. We love this book and always want to share it with other cat lovers. Not sure if you're a fan of audiobooks, but this is something special. Um, Thank you again for all that you do, Julie and Catherine. P.S. We're from Florida, and we always know our hurricane cats. <laughs> I see. There's a little illustration here. I, you can't see it too well, but I bet you can find it on the Internet. It says a quick reference for hurricane, hurricane categories, and then there's floofy cats with the various stages of their floof being blown around. Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3, etc. That's really, really cute. Julie and Catherine, thank you so much for sending this. And oh my goodness, Homer's Odyssey includes an interview with the author, A Fearless Feline Tale or How I Learned About Love and Life with a Blind Wonder Cat by Gwen Cooper, read by Renee Roudman. Very cute. Wow. Well, there's a little bit of sads in the description, so I'm not going to read it, but it sounds like a really cool story, and I am excited to hear it, so I will totally listen to this. Thank you so much for sending this to us. That's fantastic, and we do like audiobooks quite a bit, actually. Um, it says it comes on eight CDs. My goodness. Uh, I like to listen to audiobooks in my car, and DJ does too, and uh, we both have... We actually both have CD players in our car. I know it's turning into more and more. That's what I was just about to say. I have a CD player in my car. DJ has a CD player in her car. We have literally never used them. So I think this is a good excuse for us to try them out. Doesn't? Mine does. I'm totally going to listen to this in my car then. Thank you so much for sending it, though. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure I can find a way to burn it to, like, maybe an MP3 or something for DJ if she doesn't have one in her car after all. We'll see what we can do about that. Can you find a little package from Pauline? It's from the UK. A tiny? No, but you can. No, she said it had something edible. Okay, well. That we should open it today. Good. You find it. That's Canada. That's not the UK. You find it. Uh, while you find it, I will open this box that I reached for that is from Estelle. Let's see. How do I open this? It's on the camera. It's oh, I see something else that we have to open soon, too. That one that's already open, technically. Oh, well, this package from Estelle contains a package from Estelle. I think this is probably going to be one of those joke packages. It's just packages all the way down. Oh, and there's a sticker here. It says, I love KA, and then it says Chicago KA Con. There's an actual KA Con sticker that's really cool. And there's an onion. And let's see what happens if I get into this without trying to show off your address, which is inside. Okay. And then we go, we go deeper. There's, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a cute little uh, card. It says Mr. A and DJ, and on the back it also says Chicago KA Con. And look at this. There's an onion. There's an actual tiny onion. Look at the tiny onion. Is that cute? So cute. DJ is going to love that tiny onion. I have to find a place to set it aside. It's, uh, it's hot glued on here. There we go. It came right off. That is the cute. Look how tiny. Look how tiny this onion is. It's so adorable. You'll never see it, but it's super tiny. I'm going to set it in the mailbag box for now so I don't lose it. And we're going to open this letter from Estelle. Stop that. Stop it. Oh, wow. 
we've really got a theme here. Here is an onion. Oh, oh gosh, something just fell out of it too. Oh, there's onions inside too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the front of the card is an onion um, that seems to be looking at a fly. Like maybe he's worried that he's going bad. It's very cute. And on the inside it says, Mr. A and DJ, I don't quite have the words to thank you for all. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't quite have the words to thank you all for welcoming me. Wow. Uh, I'm you just going to hang on a second. I'm going to start over. We're going to get this right. I can talk. Okay. I don't quite have the words to thank y'all for welcoming me and the planning committee into your home during our visit. It was a joy to meet the faculty cats and the trees and the burbs. I had so much fun getting to spend time with you both. I hope the kittens and or faculty cats enjoy this token of my grat gratitude. Wow, I almost made it. I can't take credit for making this one. All my onions excel. And there are actually little onions inside, and some of these onions are sliced in half, and you can see you can see the detail on the inside of the little sliced in half onions. I gotta hand these to the DJ. How do they make that? And the card. Here, take these carefully. Put those someplace they won't get lost. And here's the card for you. I don't know. And what's this onion fall off? And inside we have a big purple onion. Look at that. That's so cute. Aww. And with a smiley face, of course. And I like that too. That's Where really, that really onion? adorable. Wow. I don't know. Here you go. You can put them in here or How something. Do do I'll put this over here to be our trash can. My foot is falling asleep. I gotta stretch it out a little bit there. And uh Here we have a package that is from thecatball.com dropship, and it says your cat will figure it out. I can. Oh goodness! Hang on, there's a note inside. Kitten Academy, written handwritten with little hearts. How cute! The cat ball. Your cat will figure it out. Mr. A and DJ, here is a cat canoe for either of the two rooms. If a cat or kitten falls in love, they are welcome to take it home with them. As always, thanks for all you do. Love, Ron and Anna. Thank you, Ron and Anna. And then this comes from a company called The Cat Ball. Interesting. TheCatBall.com No, there was no post-it note because it was inside another thing and I did not show her address to everybody. It's over here to go in the trash. I see it is. It's like a little tiny cat canoe. It is so cute. Look, I'm going to set it aside for a minute because we've got to get all this stuff sort of organized before we put it out in the room. But it looks super cute. It's got little tiny reindeer on it, which is so appropriate. They're, they're little reindeer with hearts, and there's boy reindeer and girl reindeers, and they're smiling. Unlike our creepy reindeer that are just creepy. Um, so it's really cute. It's a cat canoe. It's from thecatball.com. It's from Ron and, Ron and Anna. Gosh, I hope I got those names right. Yeah, yes, Ron and Anna. Thecatball.com. The mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ron and Anna. That is really cute. And what? There's a cat inside this packaging now, so just set that over there. What are you doing, Budgie? Budgie, who let the cat into the bag? I don't know. It's in the thing. Let me share that on Discord real quick. That's too adorable. Okay, wow, moving right along. I was going to use this bag for trash, but now it contains a budgie who's not trash at all. I'll set it over there. Okay, well, let's just see what's next. This says, 
Oh, from Mom. It says, Merry Christmas to all our postal workers in Fox Lake. Hi, Candy. And then there is a tab I can pull to hopefully open it. A package from Mr. A's mom. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff packed in here, but I don't see a note. At least we know who it's from. Oh, look at this. We have chocolate reindeer food. It says crispy chocolate reindeer food. How cool is that? Reindeer food. I don't think the reindeer are going to eat it, though. I think I am. Aw. Here's some socks. The socks say one cat away from being a crazy cat lady. That's super cute. And we got some paper that the kittens are bound to like. And, oh, look at this. This is a beautiful pillow. It says, I sleep with cats. And then on the back it says, or on the front, I don't know which is the front and the back. On one side it says, there's probably cat hair on this. And on the other side it says, I sleep with cats. That is such a cute little pillow. Wow, that's really adorable. I know you probably couldn't see it because there was a cashew in the way. There you go. And then one more thing from Mom. Poop socks. It says, Poo socks. So already done that. Yep, I'm always late to the party. Oh, that's fine, Mom. I always can use more poop socks. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much. So those are from my mom. Thank you, Mom. Um, I don't... This pillow kind of expanded. I'm going to... Reindeer food and a crazy cat lady socks? It's chocolates. There we go. start trying to get this stuff organized so that I'm not overwhelmed with this in here. There's still a cat in the bag. Okay, that's fine. That's what I can do about that. Can you open the target box? Which one? Which one? Where's that? Oh, the big one? I thought we were supposed to start at the back here. from somewhere. Where is this from? It says Fragile. All right, let's see. DJ's asked me to open this box next. So, let's see. I see little paw prints on it. There's little paw prints tracked across it. It says Repurposed Target Box. So, it was from Target, but no longer. Oh, gosh, there's the edible packing peanuts in here, and I am hungry. Okay, this says, okay to read. You going to help me out with this, Budgie? I wonder if, like, I will follow all the rules if I had to send email to the mailbag. All the rules? Yeah, people do. People say things like, it's okay to read, and oh. they tell you when they start here we have a very cute card. It says Merry Christmas, and it's got a beautiful cat on it. That's really gorgeous art. On the inside, oh my gosh, this is too cute. So first off, on the inside, it says, Mr. A and DJ, no dropship here. These Christmas plates came from my heart and home to yours. Merry Christmas, Lisa P, a.k.a. LP Cat 22 on Discord. I think that's what that says. Yeah, that's LP Cats Plus 22 on Discord. And here we have, thinking of you with warm wishes for a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 
Lisa P, and then there's four little paw prints from Alia, JB, Mr. Bud, and Misha Magoo. Oh, I need Look at that. So cute. Let me hand this card over to DJ. I don't understand the question, but whoa, these are like collector's plates. In fact, it says, it says on the, 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 the container for the fancy collector plate says, not for food use, may poison food. So that's an interesting uh, take on a plate, a plate that may poison your food. Anything but a plate in a sense. Wow, they're all limited edition. Bradford Exchange, wow. and then it says it again actually on the plate, not for food use, food consumed from this plate decorative. may be harmful, decorative art object, and this is plate number 586A, <gasps> it's beautiful, oh, it's a bunch of cats standing to make up a cat Christmas tree, and in the background there's some kittens trying to imitate it. And then there's another cat with milk and cookies for everybody. And it says the artist is Randall Spangler. Look how beautiful that is. That's completely gorgeous. Wow. Thank you so much. I almost, it's so beautiful, I almost want to eat off of it. Oh, but I know better. Here's another one. It says Christmas heirloom. Wow, Lisa P, these are amazing. Oh, no. This is the, probably the same, no, this is a different artist. This is Bill Bell. Santa Claus by Bill Bell, limited edition, plate number W7103. Franklin Mint, this one is from the Franklin Mint. It says a decorative accessory not to be used for food consumption. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Wow, these are beautiful. Oops, i got to put this in the right way. Hang on. Wow, Lisa. Oh, you got you sent us some display stands, too, so we can stand them up. That's perfect. Wow. Thank you so much. I feel like this used to be your personal collection, and you sent it to us. And that's so... So nice of you, but it's almost too much. Okay, we've got to look at all of them. Here's one that says, Trimming the Tree, limited edition by Leslie Hammond. Oh, wow, Leslie. That's beautiful. Look at that. Why are you talking to Leslie? I don't think Leslie's Well, she might be. You never know. And... Oh, but wait, there's more. Chestnut's over here playing with the bag. And these two are over here playing with this stuff. No, he's just playing. Wow, how many plates are in here? Santa Claus is coming to town. Randall Spangler. Oh, it's a little Santa's workshop scene with Santa Cat in the sleigh and a whole bunch of little helper cats doing everything all over. It's very busy. So beautiful. This is a big collection. We're going to have to make some room to put this thing out for Christmas because they're all Christmas cat related things. 1225 Kitty Cottage Lane. Here's a bunch of Carolyn kitties and there's three little tiny kittens in front watching them carol. And if you look in the background, there's kitties building a snow fish, a snow cat, and one of them is uh, having a snowball fight. Beautiful. This 
next one. Let's see. Frosty the Snowcat. Oh, it's like a zoom in close up of that uh, the snowcat that was being built in the background of the first one. I mean, the last one. Here we go. Frosty the Snowcat. So beautiful. These are such detailed little scenes, too. They're so gorgeous. DJ is going to completely love these. You know, she's a huge Christmas fan. Oh, this one's very cute. This must be a different artist. It's another Bill Bell. And it's Santa Cat next to the fireplace with the, the little kid, kid cats are sleeping in their chair next to the fireplace. The two of them are looking at Santa Cat. And there's also a little mouse in the corner. He's also very happy to be there even though there's five cats in the room with him. One more. Wow, Lisa, this is amazing. You really, really shouldn't have. Oh, wow. Save the most detailed one for last. This is another Bill Bell, and this is uh, a church scene where all the cats are having their big holiday feast at the church. And there's just detail everywhere. One of them, some of them are painting the ceilings of the church. There's little nun cats. There's a, there's a friar cat and a nun cat that are sliding down the banister. Hey! Wow, and there's a big organ. There's all kinds of stuff going on in this picture. Drawing, painting. There we go. That's the word. That is phenomenal. Lisa, thank you so much. Wow. Well, we're definitely going to have to find some way to display all these. They're fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow. Do you want to see this one while I pack up the rest again and put them in here for now? I'm going to try to put these back in the packing material for the time being. Let's see how well I can do that. I don't know how you packed all these in here to start with. That's a lot of plates. Yeah, I saw there were a couple that were just like cats. Yeah. Where all the other cats are dressed up like humans, and then there's like three or four of them that are just, they're just cats. They're just being cats. I don't get it. They're, are they the cats that belong to the cats? It's like they're being like cats. I know. That's and then the best cats are all dealers, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's a little weird. They're playing with the cornstarch um, little packing peanuts, which is safe. They can eat them or whatever. They're just cornstarch. I saw the painting, the painting of the cats. Yes, the, the, uh, the creation of Adam. Adam, <laughs> that's nicely done, DJ. Wow, Lisa P. That is amazing. I feel, I honestly feel a little bad for, I, know, I mean, it's I just too see. much. It's really too much. But thank you so, so much. We, uh, we are going to treasure those literally forever. That's uh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. I almost feel bad that we have to just kind of move on now with the rest of the mail bag. But, wow. but that's exactly what we have to do. So DJ's been telling me to start from the back of the pile because that's the stuff that came last week that people have been waiting already a week for us to open. So let me see. Oh, but wait a minute. This looks important. Oh, wait. There's another one, too. Oh, this says... It's just like, it just stares at us for hours. So I know. They're very detailed. This one says, To Kitten Academy, Attention Gravy. Oh, so, Gravy's getting adopted tomorrow. That sounds like it's worth opening right now. Let's see what happens. Attention, Gravy. Gravy, I need all of your attention right here, Gravy. Gravy, attention, Gravy. She's behind.
in the trash can. Okay. All right, gravy. Good job, though. Great gravy. Great gravy. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. What am I doing? Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Jim Academy. Here's another blanket. I think I'd like this one to go to Gracie, please. Sent one last week for Figlet, but it hasn't been opened. Delayed mailbag. Sorry I can't make blankets for all, but as I see yarn that screams a kitten's name, I'll knit something up and send it. By the way, screaming yarn really alarms the other store customers. <laughs> Signed, Lily Cat and Miss Zara. Lily Cat, thank you so much. Wow, this is beautiful, and it does look great for gravy. Doesn't it? With this, it's got the gray and the purple. It's very majestic, and uh, I think it'll fit her wonderfully. And also a little bit of cream color with this. It's super soft. Wow, this is just gorgeous. It's that's really sweet. I'm sure that Gravy's adopters tomorrow are gonna so so appreciate that. I will actually. Um, I'm gonna leave your card in here for them too. I love that you say. By the way, screaming yarn really alarms the other store customers. And the other yarn. Yeah, I bet the other yarn is like, oh, I better be quiet. I don't want what's coming to that guy. Dramatic yarn. Dramatic yarn. Do you need any of this? Do you have a your fire? I think I do. Okay, I'm gonna set it this way because that posting note's gonna fall off. Um. Yeah, so on that topic, uh, DJ has decided to start um, exercising her surgery fingers as a future surgeon, we believe. Not 100% settled, but it seems likely that she's going to go into surgery. And uh, to that end, she just this week started crochet. If you've never done it before, has no idea what she's doing. But we bought her some instructional books and some crochet needles and a little bit of yarn, and she's already making some little tiny things. It's adorable. It's really, really cute. Um, she's definitely not to the level of skill or patience it would take to make a blanket like that, though. Not by a long shot. Uh, so here we have a little package that is from, maybe this is the one we were looking for. It is from the UK. And it says it was sent by Dan and Charlene. And I don't think that's what we need. Well, it's a tiny package and it's from the UK, so it's exactly what I was looking for. Right. Because uh, that was all the instruction I was given. Oh. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh! Oh, very cute, too. Let's see if I can get this out. Hang on. All right. Doesn't seem like there's much of a note, so DJ can have this for her mailbag log. That's why I sat down upside down. So this is a box that says Felix Sensation Crunchies, but that's not what's inside. <gasps> this is really cool. Okay, hang on. There's a card first. The card says, Merry Christmas. Oh, it kind of looks like the onesies that I'm wearing with little cats wearing Christmas Santa hats. And then on the inside it says... To Mr. A, DJ, Acro, Custard, Smokey, Ari, Eld, Eddie, Loganberry, Elsie, and all the beautiful foster babies, Merry Christmas. We love you and the work you do. It has been wonderful this year watching Kitten Academy, the ups and downs. Wishing you all a wonderful Christmas and best wishes for 2018. Lots of love, Charlene, Dan, Laura, Brian, Susan, and Karen. Was that Laura or Lola? That might be Lola. Um, I'm not sure. We'll go with both. Please find enclosed a catnip-filled quilt we have made for the faculty. Wow. And a couple of face cloths for you, too. Discord name, Mad Cat Anderson. That's Mad underscore Cat underscore Anderson. YouTube, Charlene Anderson. And 
let's see what we have here. Oh, this is such a cute little package. And it's that little tiny, it says, to use with your face claws, loving, lovingly handmade by Charlene, especially for you. What? I'm smelling something here. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're handmade soaps. And they smell amazing. This looks like thyme, I think. And this seems like some... Oh, I don't know. Is that more thyme, maybe? I see uh, rosemary? Oh, Those are beautiful, beautiful handmade soaps. Wow. Those are gorgeous. And they smell so good. I wish you guys could smell this. I mean, I don't say that very often because... Normally, this kit room is not the place you want to smell. Uh, but these soaps are just beautiful. So here we have what seems to be the quilt no, no. for the faculty. That's beautiful. And then we have, I see, we have a pa pack, a two-pack of face cloths that have the poop emoji on them. That's perfect for those beautiful handmade soaps and poop to go together is uh, quite a juxtaposition. But this is gorgeous. This is so great. Thank you so much, Charlene. That is fantastic. Wow. I'm going to see how well I can fit it back in this box so that I can hand this off to DJ and she can do her part with your card everything else. Put this in the trash bin so no cats get that string. Here we go, DJ. Excellent. i got to stretch my foot out again, okay? I'm, uh, okay, there we go. All right, little tiny package from the back. This one comes to us straight from our biggest fan, Fulfillment Center. Mr. Center is a great guy who sends us tons of stuff. Aww, <laughs> this is too cute. Somebody created a Zazzle gift just for you, but it doesn't say who. It doesn't say at all who sent this, but I can see exactly what it is. They are post-it notes that all have the Kitten Academy logo on them so that we can use these to cover up people's addresses, and it will have our little logo on all the packages. Look at that. Wow. That's so cute. Thank you, Mystery yeah. Giver, who is Fulfillment Center. Mr. Center, this was a great, this is a great yeah. gift. In fact, I'm going to just take these out right now and put them right into our little mailbag box where they fit perfectly. Thank you so much, Mr. Center. Or Ms. Center. I don't know. Is Fulfillment, is that a girl's name or a boy's name? Uh, there's no other clue as to who these are from, so I'll hand this to DJ, but she's just going to be disappointed. Oh, okay. In that case, I will hand them to the garbage bag. Wow, thank you so much, mystery person who sent those. And uh, if, if you know who you are, you should send us an email and let us know. If you don't know who you are, then we're both in trouble. All right, here we have a small packet. A, uh, from Canada, and it has a big giant whale stamp on it. That's really cool. Other than that, not much to see on the outside of this. Let's see what we have to do to get it open. All right. That soap's great, isn't it? We're going to have to put that up in our bathroom and then just look at it. I know. <laughs> just look at it, yes. Isn't that, isn't that, come on, be honest, isn't that what you guys do with really nice handmade decorative soap? Yeah. Don't you just, you set them in a soap dish somewhere like in the guest bathroom and then you just look at them because they're too nice to use? And we can't be the only people that do that. All right, here's an address for DJ so she can note down the stuff that I'm about to read. And... Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, we have 
a card that says Merry Christmas with a beautiful little star on the front. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Hang on to that package because the, they think the stamps are really cool, too, and they would like the stamps back, I think. If it's not too much trouble. Hmm. Okay, so she says she's a, a stamp collector and she would appreciate any stamps we can send her. I bet we can come up with a great collection if we start saving some of these. Um, so first off, this photo on the front of the uh, card is not just any old photo. It is a photo taken by the person that sent the card. It says, yes, photo card taken by me, a few years old, but still a favorite. And then um, there is a website listed here, but there's a note that says to ignore the website. It's not up at the moment. Too much else to do and butterflies to chase. So I would give you a plug, but I guess nobody will be able to find your work anyway, Brenda. Uh, it says, Dear Mr. A, I'm with TJ. Christmas is awesome. Included here are some gifts for DJ's tree. Crochet stars. I think you always need more shiny on the tree. Not yours specifically, any and all trees. If these are not your style or color, then feel free to donate them to On Angel's Wings to sell. I needed some more sparkle for my tree, and crochet is my latest project, so I found this sparkly yarn and have been making a bunch. Plus, they are cat proof. Here's what they look like. Um, here's some sparkly ones. There's a whole bunch in here. As soon as fish moves out of the way, you'll be able to see them very well. And then there's also some white ones that are very sparkly and beautiful. I have also included some crochet cat toys for the endowment bags. The balls are regular acrylic yarn. Uh, I just lost my place in the note because I was trying to do two things at once. The balls are regular acry acrylic yarn. That's these. There's a whole bunch of these little balls. They're very cute. Here we go. Regular acrylic yarn. Those are beautiful patterns. Look at that. Um, but the flat ones and crazy flowers are 100% cotton, so are safe for chewy kittens. So that's these ones. That are little rings and little flowers. And there's actually a whole bunch more in here. The rings are a really cool idea. I wonder if Custard would go for those the same way that he goes for hair ties. What do you think, DJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are beautiful. So beautiful. Actually, I like that one I just showed off. Reminds me like an iris because it's got all those colors in it that are radiating out from the center. Really beautiful. Let me put these back in before they become uh, part of the room. I feel that. Hi, Cashew. I got a Cashew snuggling with my butt. Uh, okay. Uh, the flat ones I thought would be good chewing toys for teething um, kittens. I've been giving homemade toys like these to my local shelter. Thanks for all the care you give the cats and for letting us all join in the joy of watching kittens play and sleep and so on. And thanks for the no sads policy, Brenda. Brenda, thank you so much. These are beautiful Christmas tree ornaments. And I bet now that DJ knows that sparkly yarn exists, it will be the only thing she uses for her new crochet habit. Take a look at those. And then when you're done, you can put them in here. Oh, self-addressed envelope. If it's not too much hassle, put the new stamps in here and send back. That's really cute. That's so generous of you. Thank you. So put the stamps in that box, too. And if I notice any other stamps today, we will cut them out and add them to that box for you. Okay, um, I don't know exactly where I'm going from here. Do I need to open these? That? Start the bag? Figure it out? Oh, here, here we go. We can do this. So this is a package that was left for us by Confused Polarity when she came and adopted yet another Kitten Academy kitten, Little Juniper, who's doing just great, by the way. If you haven't seen the pictures of Little Juniper, she's having a great life. And uh, I don't think that Confused Polarity intended for us to open this necessarily on the mailbag, but we set it aside. We haven't looked at it, and now we are. Oh! Oh my goodness, this card! This card from... The card from Confused Polarity, let's see if this seems familiar to anybody, 
It's got two adorable kittens on the front, and this one says, Last Christmas I swallowed a ball of yarn. And the other one says, Oh yeah? What happened? And then on the inside it says, I had mittens. Mittens, face paw. It says, Merry Christmas. After seeing your Christmas tree full of cats, we had to get this for you. Thank you for all you do for the Kitten Academy community and all the cats you've fostered, especially Krabby, Larch, and Junie. See you soon. Love the polarities. And then on this side, they've all signed it. We've got signatures here from Leslie, Jay, Crabapple, Michael, Jennifer, Christy, Larch, um, Cinder, Junie, and Cole. And there is one other signature here that is a little too small for me to read. So cute. Well, I don't know who to give credit to for sending this card first, because we opened Jimmy's first, but I think you guys sent yours before Jimmy sent his. So, you can both have some credit. And here we have a box that is, oh, I thought this was going to be a repurposed box, but it doesn't seem as though it is. It is from the San Francisco Music Box Company. And it is a Holiday Cats lighted tree figurine. Somehow, this has been on the outside of the box the whole time, but we've had that side down and didn't even notice what it was. So let's see if I can show this off. This uh, reminds me a little bit of the, the tree music box. So now we've got two tree music boxes. They're different, so don't worry about that. But the one that was sent to us uh, by uh, Guy Anice that also is on display in DJ's office this year. Well, no, it's in the living room by the tree. I'm sorry, it's in the living room by the tree. We pulled it out. I, it's been on display is my point, I guess. Uh, wow, this is really cute. This looks like one of those plates. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on. There it is. Oh, there's no batteries in it now, so we'll have to add some batteries, and then we'll be able to show it. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Anyway, it's got kitty cats all over the tree, all kinds of kitties. It's really cute. And it seems pretty solid and cat-proof, too, so I won't have to worry too much about them knocking it down. Do you want to have a quick look at it? This is so cute. There we go, and then I'll put it away. Because it's, it's a music box. It plays some sort of Christmas song. But it's not a box. Well, technically it's a box. It contains batteries. It's a box that contains music? Well, no. It contains batteries. And then it makes music. So it's a battery box. It specifically doesn't contain the music, though, because then you would never be able to hear it. What you should have to... It's any kind. It's got a battery box right there. You're trying so to open it. It's a battery it. box. You're right. A it's Christmas battery. Yes, it's a, it's not a, it's not a music box. It's a battery box. It's a music producing battery box. Now that we've sorted out all the vocabulary correctly, can I put that up though? So that he you... has a fiddle. I think she has a bell. I don't know why she is. Yeah, because she's wearing a flower and he's wearing a top hat. You're so <laughs> it is really cute. Thank you guys so much. You didn't have to bring us anything. Can I put that away? Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Careful. Thank you guys so much. Again, you really didn't have to bring us anything, but we are so, so happy to see how Juniper and Crabapple and Larch are doing in their new home. We always expected Crabapple and Larch were going to be fine kitties wherever they went. But we were a little concerned about Juniper, and you guys have already shown us that she's just thriving in her new house. She's out running around, being a cat, playing with the other cats. Uh, it's just, it's so heartwarming to see how she's come out under your care. It's, it's really, really fantastic. So we are thrilled about that, and this is really cool, and DJ will put this somewhere. What is it poison? What is it poison? Well, it may be. We're not going to eat off the Christmas tree, I'll tell you that. Okay. Okay, all right. Make some room here. Got to finish a little bit more of my coffee. Or all of it.
Look at this. It's really good to see this little uh, ch cashew just out here playing with packing yeah, peanuts. She's, <laughs> she's not chicken right now. She's out playing. Yeah, out oh, cashew checking, he said. Oh, cashew checking things out. Okay. I see what you did there. Oh, this is rough on my back. Okay. Hang on. I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay. An old man these days. All right. So, I think we already know what this is because it is addressed to Ms. Figgy Pudding. Ms. Figgy Pudding at Kitten Academy. So, I got some idea what might be in this box. But let's open it up and have a look. And it says also for best results, open this end. So, that's exactly what I'm doing. I can follow directions sometimes. Okay. And here's a note, it says. Yes, here's a note. Oh, beautiful stationery. Okay to read. Kitten Academy, please, enclosed, please find the following three items. One, soft blanket for Miss Figlet. She can take to her new home. Hand knit, not fancy, but in fun ice cream colors. Two, new kicker toy. Uh, note in with it for Figlet or anyone you choose. I think Figlet would appreciate a kicker toy. Three, a handful of hazelnuts from my trees harvested and dried per the Internet Wise Council. You still need to crack them open. Perhaps sprinkle on ice cream? I haven't used mine yet. I have no advice. Shrug. Best wishes, Lily Cat and Miss Zara. Wow, Lily Cat, I am a big fan of hazelnut, and I have never had, as far as I know, like a, a, a homemade hazelnut. I don't think you call it homemade, do you? Um, like a fresh hazelnut that was, say, not part of a hazelnut spread or a candy or just the flavor and essence of a hazelnut to put into my coffee. So I'm excited. I'm super excited. First off, let's have a look at what we got. We have a, oh, all right, this is the blanket. Hey, these colors seem familiar. They are sort of a Neapolitan colors now that you mention it. All right. Although this one has more pink and the other one was purple, right? I think, maybe a little more purpley. Very beautiful. Figgy is going to love this blanket. That is amazing. And then we have a kicker toy that has a note on it. The note says, this new, no, oh, hang on, care instructions for the blanket. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, this new unused catnip kicker was part of a multi-pack. However, Zara did not really express much interest in hers, so Zara said I could give it to the other one to Figlet or any other kitty adoptee. Thank you so much. And now I have to dig in here. Aha. Oh, wow, these are smaller than I thought they might be. What? Hazelnuts. Is real hazelnuts. Yes, they're real hazelnuts. I know I can't just eat one. I have to figure out how to open them first, but there they are. They look like little tiny acorns with no caps. And there's a whole bunch of them. Mm, interesting. I'm going to be excited to crack some of those open and see what I got. I mean, see what they're like. Saying, see what I got makes it sound like I expect them to be filled with toys like a Kinder Egg. I don't expect that. I mean, it would be nice and if Mother Nature can get on that sort of a thing. Uh, she definitely ought to consider it. Mother Nature's watching? I don't know. If Mother Nature's not watching, I'm sure somebody is who can get the word out to her about how she's doing things wrong. Come on. We need hazelnuts that have toys inside. That's what the world needs. Okay, I am running out of places to put boxes now. I'm going to try to slide this behind me. And we're going to move on to this box that is mysteriously open. It says, Hi Candy and the Fox Lake Post Office. Um, oh, and here's a note that needs to go with that last box. Here we go. All right. So this is a box that we got from the Brulots, and it was here last week. And the Brulots told us that it contains some kind of food product 
And so DJ had to open it and eat it. And she did. It's all gone already. It was some little tiny uh, red still. It was some uh, little, um, what were the little pie things called? They were like a, like a raisin nutmeg pies that were tiny. What? So, well, like raisin nutmeg tarts then, whatever. Um, they were really cool. And then uh, little bits of like homemade fudge that were uh, butterscotch fudge. It was delicious. It was really good, but it's already long gone. But we left the rest of the box for later because it wasn't edible, as far as we know. All right, Merry Christmas Part 1, anyway. I tried to talk myself out of sending more treats to ruin Mr. A's diet, but I lost the battle. Hey, you knew who else lost the battle? Uh, enjoy the what? Canadian desserts, butter tarts, and Nanaimo bars, and see if you can guess the secret ingredient in the fudge. I guessed it. Um, it was butterscotch. I hope Elsie enjoys her very own reindeer, and DJ enjoys another pair of PJ pants. Much love, squeeze a kitten for me, Brew. Brew, you are... Oh, well, why not? It's a secret ingredient. Why not? It's a secret. It has it in its name. It's secret. It's not a secret anymore. Now it's just an ingredient. So there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I did How that. So here we have a squeaky toy for Elsie that is a reindeer. That's really cute. Thank you so much. I'm sure Elsie will like it. I don't know if she heard that. And here we have a Grumpy Cat. Wow. Grumpy Cat merchandise has really just gone everywhere now. Like There's literally nothing you cannot get without his face and name on it. In this case, we have a cat toy that is Grumpy Cat that has reindeer antlers. Like, how is this a thing? I don't know. And then finally, we have what seems like possibly the softest pair of pajama pants that DJ oh owns. God. With a big blue bow on the front. They're beautiful. And they're all the characters from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, movie that we are all familiar with. Wow. Including the Abominable Snowman and Rudolph, and the little bunny, and DJ, I think I just heard DJ say she hasn't seen it, so I know that we're going to have to watch it this Christmas. I haven't seen it myself since I was a little kid, that has been around forever, so I'm probably due for a re-watching, too. I do remember that the Land of Misfit Toys used to make me sad when I was a kid. Those pants are so soft! They're super soft, here you go. Oh, okay, I'll set this right here. Brew, thank you so much. That's really, really sweet of you. And uh, I know D uh, that Elsie, I mean, is going to appreciate her gift. And uh, DJ probably wants to put those on right now, but she's going to have to wait. Um, I'm not going to put it on. Not right now. Yes, I know. Okay. I don't know what else. I've lost track of what might have come last week and what might have come this week. Um... So, I don't know. Let's just, uh, what do we got for time? Oh, we got 45 minutes. We might actually make it through the whole thing at the rate we're going. Not that I want to rush, uh, but hi, Budgie. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you just want to settle down here now, huh? Okay. You can hang out with me. Yes, you can. All right. In that case, I'm just going to go for whatever I can reach that's close because, uh, you know, I got my back and everything. All right. I have my back, too. I know. We've all got our backs. Oh, yes, we do. I'm not trying to act like I'm all special. Like, oh, look at me. I have a back. Uh, no, I get it. We've all got one. Okay. Okay, to read aloud. Kitten Academy. Dear Mr. A and DJ, thanks for all you do for the kittens and humans who love watching them. Every one of them is precious and a doorbell, but have to admit that we've become especially captivated by Gracie because she looks so much like a miniature version of our Lily. We included Lily when she was already about eight years old. She's 15 now, still very healthy and cuddly. So we missed her kittenhood, and watching Gracie gives us a good idea of what Lily must have looked like Whoa. as a kitten. Get you. Well, she was trying to play, but Gracie wasn't quite ready yet. That's good, though. I think this is progress. 
I remember seeing Gracie playing with a cat dancer toy on one of the close-up streams and wanted to send one for her endowment. I actually bought it for Lily, but discovered that her current life stage of retired older cat, she has little interest in toys other than her cat named Dragonwing, and occasionally her flat mouse. So it seemed fitting to send it to a kitten who looks so much like her younger self. Hugs and spoogles to all the Kitten Academy students and faculty, purrs and meows, Lily, Lily Cat's mom, Lily Cat's dad, and the Thanksgiving twins. P.S. One of our local papers used to feature a bit more creative writing in the crime blotters, but lately they've just been a dry recitation of the details. I pulled a couple older ones from the paper's website for your reading enjoyment. Ones with puns are circled with yellow highlighter. Oh my gosh, this is the best gift ever. Wow, it's a little bit of a tiny gift though. Let me just have a look here. City Ordinance, June 3rd. A homeowner and 30 friends celebrating his 50th birthday were told to tone down the noise from the live band, let me guess, 80s music, and go inside. Seems girls and guys just want to have fun. But time after time, police have to tell everybody who wants to rule the world to beat it. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Wow. I like this one too. June 2nd, ID theft. You can open a Barclays bank account online in minutes. Unless you're a crook, then the bank will notify you and decline the application. Two close calls for one poor subject, and so far, no leads. <laughs> These are great. Wow. June 5th, suspicious circumstances. Someone followed teenage girls along Center Street via drone. And then it says, Oh, give me a drone where the girls are alone. They cannot tell me buzz off. But following peeps really gives them the creeps and the cops say no aircraft aloft. It says, Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. It's the song, but it's rewritten for the, the, the particular thing. That? That? <laughs> Apparently... Someone, yes, the police blotter reporter at the Moraga um, City Council, I mean, uh, newspaper, whatever. Yes, that's what I meant. Oh, there's a couple others here that are circled. March 17th, suspicious circumstances. A resident reported a large slab of rock had been knocked down. Police took it for granted, and although no stone was left unturned, no suspects were found. <laughs> March 11th, violation city ordinance, 11 o'clock and all was not well. Police responded to music and more than 150 partiers shaking their shamrocks six days early in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Police lepra calmed them down, sent guests snaking home, and residents acknowledged their O fence, that's O apostrophe fence in the Irish tradition. No further action was taken. Yes, these are fantastic. Wow, wow. Lily Cat's mom, thank you so much. I can't wait to read the rest of those. Um, I will find my reading glasses or magnifying glass to read those. And as promised, you have included for Gravy's endowment bag the original Cat Dancer. This is, by the way, I will tell everybody watching, a fantastic toy for cats. Uh, they all love it quite a bit. It's easy to play with. And unlike the, the string toys that we like with those wires on it, you can leave this one out pretty safely because the wire is stiff enough that cats can't get tangled up in it, which is important. Let me hand this to you. Oh, do we have a pen here? No. We need to start keeping a pen in the mailbag tools so that we can write things right on here like this is for Gracie's endowment. Yeah. Next time, maybe. All right. Here we go. Uh, here we have another package from the Canadian Post. And let's see what we got. Good, there is a note. A note and something else. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can get this opened up. Okay. Wow, this is a very thick note. Oh, because it's a very cool card. Wow, this is beautiful. It says Meowy Christmas, and it's got five cats on it, but the cats are beautifully decorated, and they're cut out like a little paper craft thing. 
And this one this has like a real pom-pom and a real little bow, and this one's got real little sparkles on it. It's beautiful. Just beautiful card. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. You also sent an extremely generous donation. That was completely unnecessary. Thank you so much, though. Wow. Thank you. Uh, wishing you much happiness today and throughout the new year. May all of your wishes and dreams come true. Annie. And then there's also a note here from Annie. Montreal, Sunday, the 26th of November. Hi, Mr. A. Hi, DJ. At the beginning of March this year, YouTube started proposing me a little video called Angels Fish Kittens. At the time, I had no idea what Kitten Academy was. So, because of the name, I thought these kittens had a congenital malformation and also thought it was disgusting. This was on YouTube. You can make fun of me. It's okay. So it was out of the question I was going to watch that. One night I said to myself, okay, I'm going to watch this, but at the second it becomes sad, I click on the X button and I close everything. Oh my god, that's exactly what we don't do. I know! <laughs> we really messed that up. I started watching the video to find out that the fish, it was the name of the litter. Boy, did I laugh at myself. I never stopped watching Kitten Academy since then. I became a Patreon at the beginning of October. I'm not on the chat very often. But that was not the main reason why I decided to donate. I wanted the feeling to be part of Kitten Academy community. You guys and the kittens became a big part of my life. I never thought it would turn out that way. Thank you for being there. I'm not working between Christmas and New Year, so I'm going to have more time to watch the live stream and go on the chat. Have a wonderful Christmas time. Uh, Annie Cooney uh, on Twitter and the chat. That's A-N-I-C-O-U-N-I -I on Twitter and the chat. Thank you so much. This is such a generous donation. I just thank you so much. It's fantastic. Annie, I am so glad um, that you joined us on the chat, too. I recognize your name from there, even if you don't talk much. And uh, we're really glad to have you. And this may just be packing material, then. I thought that there was something else, but no, it is packing material. And that's fine, because you sent plenty in your card. Can I have Here's the car. Oh, and the package, so you can have the address there. Yeah, Annie, you thank you. Um, just a million. Wow. That's so generous of you. Um, wow. Uh, all right. Um, those donations, by the way, I, you know, I haven't said anything about donations in a while, but I, I have to remind you all how useful they are and what a great privilege it is for us to have so many fantastic donators that you know we're in this position where when we see a cat one of our cats has any just the slightest issue at all we don't have to think about it we just take them straight to the vet to have them checked out to have them do whatever they can possibly do and it is great it is just the best we're in a position of great privilege to be able to do that um a good example would be our our little um cashew here who's who's got a little bit of an ear infection and uh, just took her straight to the vet. Not only the ear infection, but we also had the ultrasound and the x-ray done to determine whether, in fact, she was pregnant. As we know, she wasn't. Um, but it's, it's great to know that we've got all that kind of stuff covered by our wonderful, wonderful fans. So here we go. This says, gift is for Figgy when she goes home to her knee-a-duters from Joyce Hetherington on Twitter, who is a fan of ours in Oregon. So this is especially for Figgy. Oh, and it's it's a catnip, 100% catnip filled fish, and it's great. And uh, wow, that's really going to be a great toy for her. I know she will like that quite a bit. She likes the catnip um, a lot. So that's fantastic. And DJ can have that. Joyce, thank you so much. You've sent us so much stuff over the time, and uh, it's all fantastic. I know that that that's going to be fantastic for her. All right. Moving right along. Here we have another dropship gift. Was there something inside this package from... Um, no. Is the card? Yep. Uh, here we go. This doesn't say who this is. Oh, it does say who it's from. Because you all don't have enough socks, Merry Christmas from Creepy Reindeer... P.S. Note the correct spelling of y'all. All right, creepy reindeer, you win. Uh, here you go, DJ. That's for you. Could be informative. And, oh, these are so cute. 
they are creepy reindeer socks. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me open this a little bit so that you can see it. There we go. Those are actually really adorable, and I'm excited to wear those. Thank you so much, Creepy Reindeer. Wow. I wish, uh, do I have another box I can tuck these into so that we don't need this just for this? I don't know either. Here, I'm going to put them in the brew box there. We know these are fun. Thank you, Creepy Reindeer. Very clever. You know how when I try to send a thank you, it gives me their big name? Yes. Oh no! I thought surprise it doesn't come up and just say creepy. So that's Miss Creepy Reindeer then. Interesting. What sauce are they? They are reindeer socks. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're these right here. There you go. Here we have a package, wow, from Mr. Elso Cat. Mr. Elso Cat, this is your third appearance in today's mailbag. I know it's been over two weeks of mailbag, but still, that's a lot of stuff, Mr. Elso Cat. You've gone all out. And that is certainly not necessary, but we do appreciate it. We appreciate you. The uh, cat coo, by the way, has found its way to our uh, guest bathroom where it is much enjoyed by us and our gifts. I mean, guests, sorry. All right, Mr. Elso Cat says, It was fun putting this gift together for you guys. One gift is not for sealing wax. Smile. One gift matches DJ's birthday gift. One dog ball enclosed. Past mailbox day, you said that every time it needs one of these, Please feel outside of wrapping to try and guess it. Happy, happy, Mary, Mary. Hmm. Well, now I'm completely mystified by what I might find in the rest of this package. <gasps> oh, look at this, DJ! It's a stocking with a cat on it. That's beautiful all by itself. Look. Wow, and I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about now because it's a stocking. And I can feel on the outside what's going on here in the bottom of the boat thing, I think. Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to go through this stocking together right now. We're not going to wait until Christmas. We're not supposed to, are we? I don't think we're supposed to. I'm going to pretend like we're not supposed to because I want to open it now and see what's in here. Besides, I'm dressed for Christmas already. You know, we can just watch this again on Christmas and get the experience all over. Okay, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So I think maybe I was talking about the fact that my dad, when I was a kid, used to always fill the stockings, and he would always put like a fun little toy or something for us kids in the stocking, but most of it, 99% of the stocking was clearly stuff that dad went to the grocery store, and he just picked stuff that was like 99 cents at the checkout aisle, or in the, the travel um, section, you know, where you get the little travel size bottles of stuff, or stockings were always full of those. But there was one thing, and it was a Christmas tradition, the dad always put in our stockings, always. And it was an orange. It was always an orange in our stockings. And I found out recently that that actually is a Christmas tradition. It wasn't just my dad. Like, that probably was something that he always got in his Christmas stocking when he was a kid. And he just carried it on. Uh, I never knew. So, anyway, it feels like there may be an orange at the bottom of this, but we'll find out. Oh, wow, look at this. So, first we have... The tradition of the Christmas pickle, it is a very fancy looking pickle ornament, and it says, it's Christmas time, a time of jingle bells, stockings, presents under the tree, and family traditions. Celebrate the holidays with a time-honored German tradition, and have fun with your family for years to come. Following an old world custom, parents waited until Christmas Eve to hide a small pickle ornament on the Christmas tree, tucking it out of sight among the branches. On Christmas morning, the first family member to spot the pickle was rewarded with a special blessing for the coming year and received the first present from under the tree. Did you have that tradition? I did not have that tradition, but now I do. Thank you so much. That's not even fair. You open the package. <laughs> this, this says Mr. A on it, and look how beautifully wrapped it is with this cute bow and this gold ribbon. Wow, I'm just going to open this right up, though. Thank you, Mr. Elso Cat. <gasps> oh, no, it says, 
It's by Jay Leno. It's a book by Jay Leno that says how to be the funniest kid in the whole wide world or just in your class. And it says on the back, if you want to be funny, this book is for you. I, um, I'm not 100% sure how to take this, Mr. Elso Cat, but, uh, but I think I can use it. And I, I don't think you're the only one who feels that way. Definitely a practical gift for somebody who wants to be funny like I do. And maybe someday. Maybe, maybe someday. All right. What else have we got here? We have socks with reindeer on them. These are really cute, too. Uh, this is a really cute little smiling reindeer. He's wearing a bow, and on the, the bottom of the socks, we have little Christmas tree ornaments. What a cute reindeer, too. Thank you so much, Mr. Elso Cat. And digging deeper, a tiny little box that is adorable. Look at this with a beautiful bow, and the bow's got like a little rose in the middle of it. So cute. I imagine this must be for DJ, but she would just tell me to open it first anyway, so I'm going to. Oh, and it goes deeper. Let's see. What is the flowers? Poinsettia. Mm -hmm. Christmas yeah. traditional. Oh, and that's exactly what this is. It's a little pen to go with DJ's new collection of pens. Oh, and it's so pretty. And it is poinsettias, little pink poinsettias. They're beautiful. It's very Christmassy, and she should totally wear this on her doctor's jacket as she does her rounds. That's great. Thank you so much, Mr. Elso Cat, and Mr. Elso Cat's mom. That's so cute. Let me give this to DJ so that she can appreciate it up close. What were, what were the other things that I didn't Here you go. Okay. Point set a pen. Christmas pickle. A book. How to be funny. And reindeer socks. Yes, but and what's the flowers? What's what? The oh, it's just a little poinsettia decoration on the pickle. On the pickle. Yep. Here we have another. This one is beau. Oh, wait, this is something completely different. Every mailbox needs one. Okay, so this has nothing to do with my orange story that I told you all. Um, but I have to try to guess what's inside. Every mailbox needs one. I don't know, but it's beautifully wrapped. Look at this. It's got the wrapping paper with sparkles. It's got a sparkly uh, ribbon. And then hanging, hanging from the sparkly ribbon is a little tiny cherub. It's so adorable. This is completely adorable. Wow, try to guess what's inside. Every mailbox needs one. Yeah. Help me out here, DJ. You feel it. Here, feel it. See what it is. Well, she figures that out. Let me see what's in the end that's not an orange. Oh, there's two more things. Okay. Wow, Mr. Elso Cat, you sent us too much. This is so cute. This little tiny, tiny bow. Where did you get this? Look at the tiny bow. How cute is that? That's the cutest little tiny bow. Okay, let's see here. Oh, and it went flying. All right, I gotta save that. It's a comma. Okay, hang on. This yeah, is so cute. It is a little tiny clock, like you would put on somebody's mantle, and it's super, super tiny, so it's perfect for DJ. DJ also likes clocks. She likes little mantle clocks, actually. She looks at them all the time at the store. She gets them because the kids. Right. She wants a mantle clock, but she says we can't have one because the cats get up on the mantle and knock everything down, and they would just ruin it. Look at it, though. You got one now. A little tiny mantle clock. Mr. Elso Cat, that's wow. so cute. I think this is a common or an Okay, hang on. There's one more thing. Our Christmas yeah. thing that I thought was going to be an orange from my dad, but isn't. It's a, it is a tennis ball for Elsie. Oh, she loves this. This is going to be her favorite Christmas present. Thank you so much, Mr. Elso Cat. Wow, okay, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the stocking so that we don't lose track of it. And I have to give up on what that thing is that every mailbox needs. But uh, DJ has pronounced it as probably a comma. So that's our guess. We're going to go with a guess of a comma. Do you want to open the comma or should I? Okay. All right. Uh, we apparently are not very clever, you know. Also, I haven't, uh, you know, I'm... I'm just going to say, I haven't had enough coffee this morning, and I still need to go out and get lunch with DJ. 
So that's my excuse for not being able to guess what's in here. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Okay, a big mystery. Every mailbox needs one. What? <laughs> All right, then. It is a giraffe. Uh, I don't know how I would have guessed that, but I feel like I should have. Really? I do. A giraffe? It is a giraffe. Look at that. Wow. Why does every mailbox? That's pretty cool, actually. Probably because we've gotten so many giraffes. Mr. Also Cat, thank you so much. You sent us way, way too much stuff. I mean, just too much. And two cards and a stocking. The stocking is, is possibly the cutest part of this whole thing. That's so awesome. And our own little giraffe. And finally, finally, a book on how to be the funniest kid. I am going to read that and study well what it says. See if you don't see an improvement in next week's mailbag. Oh, oh, Budgie, I'm sorry. I just bonked you in the nose. I'm sorry, little Budgie Budgie. All right, how are we doing? I guess we're not going to make it after all, but we're pretty close. Did anybody have any requests for things that we absolutely had to open? Well, we never found the thing. That's true. All right, here we have a mystery package that is drop shipped from so shipping. So you haven't opened that also, Mr. Also no, that's what we just did. We just went through oh, this. Okay. This is an empty box now. Yes. I'll put it here with the trash. Okay. Uh, where's my little green knife pad? It's probably under Budgie. Since I can open this the old fashioned way. Oh, oh, hip! Is there anything in here to indicate who it is actually from? Oh, there is. Uh oh. Well. I guess we'll just go right ahead since I already started opening it. Oh, except I still don't have my green knife. Oh, here it is. You found it. You're the one playing with it. Here we go. Oh, hey, this is the good stuff, though. Beekman. Beekman White Water Collection. Beekman 1802 Lotion. That's some good stuff. i got to smell this. Except I can't smell it that way. Let's just open it up and smell it. Oh, that's why I can't smell it. There's a seal. Okay. Oh, wow. That smells really good. Massage evenly on the skin after shower or bath. Is this for guys? This smells like it's for guys. Do you smell this? Is this for me? It smells really, really good. kind of a masculine scent to it though, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah, I like it. I really like it. Do you like it? Can you put some on right now? Maybe I can put some on right now. Thank you so much. Wow. I appreciate that. Oh, that's some good lotion too. That's really nice. That you brought from that I brought from Cash's room. The pink one? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I made them into a little done. bed. Yeah. And she fell asleep. Oh, that smells fantastic! Wow. Oh, wow. That's a really nice Thank you. That's from Lucia. Thank you so much, Lucia. That's fantastic. You sent us Beekman before. I've never heard of them until you sent them the first time, but they are. That's some quality stuff. Thank you so much. All right. Moving right along. Uh, there's one there that's not. Or maybe you this one. So there's two. Oh, you're right. 
right. Yes, we should get to that too. That's from last week. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. This is a gift thing, and it says, Hi, Kid Academy. The Chili Pepper toy, one is for Maggie, one is for the new mom cat. The 20-piece variety pack is for Maggie to use when she gets a duded from Joyce Hetherington. Wow, Joyce, you sent us a lot of stuff. i got to see what this is. I think this is the 20-piece toy set that you're talking about. Oh, this not. Wow, these Amazon guys kind of outdid themselves this time. Can you give me a note? This is the part you want, I think. Oh, hey, very nice. Look at that. Cat toy collection, variety pack, and oh, there's a cute little drawing of a cat on the front that says meow, so happy, and he does, he looks so happy. Wow, Joyce, that's great. And Joyce says this is for Maggie, and she says that one of these is for Maggie, so I'm just going to add it right in here. And then you said the other one is for the new mom cat, so I will take this to her. Here's that's right, she's been named Quiche Lorraine, or just Lorraine, I guess, but I might end up calling her Quiche, yes. DJ, although I have to tell you, DJ has already forbidden me, because I already brought it up. DJ has already forbidden me from calling her Quiche. Apparently Quiche is okay as a name, but not Quiche. I know some people that would argue with that, some people named Quiche. That's fine. DJ's like, that's too unoriginal. Quiche is, a, Quiche is an original name for somebody. Quiche, not an original name for somebody. And let's just not even get started on Lorraine, which is literally a person's name. That's okay, right? Okay. Well, you do what you can. You do what you can. We got a budgie in a box. Okay. That's it. To one chili pepper toy for... Uh, quiche and one chili pepper oh, toy. Oh, okay. So they're catnip. Yes, catnip chili peppers. You got it. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's skip ahead just a little bit here and go to this priority mailbox. It's wow. You know the post office is still trying to get through all these Spider-Man two boxes. That's like what seven Spider-Mans ago or something, and they've still got these boxes. Sometimes the post office does a marketing deal, and uh, the, the thing they're trying to market goes out of style way too fast. All right, what do we got in here? First off, oh, I see. Right up on top, we have some of the kitten's favorite toys, tissue paper, and just a ton of it. I think I opened the wrong side because the note's all the way at the bottom. Here we go. Okay. Okay, to read on the stream, we like to hear that. Dear Kitten Academy, I love watching the live stream, mailbag, and of course the nightly live streams. It really brightens my day when it's not a good one. Plus, it's good to watch with my breakfast before I head off to work. I've been watching since Chawi got adopted, and I got hooked. Thanks for all you do for the kittens and mom cats to keep them safe, happy, warm, and loved with lots of spoogles. The towel was so cute, I thought you might like to add to your collection of towels. It's a doorbell. Because it's red, I would suggest you watch it, wash it with a color catcher to prevent it from bleeding onto anything else you want to wash. It's basically a washcloth you can toss in the wash with it so it keeps its color. The other items can be distributed as you see fit to the faculty and kittens. Enjoy! There's also some Christmas colored tissue paper that the kittens will go nuts for to add to their collection. I hope you all have a meowy Christmas from Santa Claus. Ha ha. Thanks, Karen. All right, Karen. Well, let's see what you're talking about here. First off, we have a Frisky's Pull and Play Play Pack. Includes two treats. It's a little wobbly thing that you can put treats in, and the cat's knock it around and have to get the treats out to eat them. We also have, ooh, oh, a very fancy... Tuna Collection Fancy Feast Medleys. That'll be a special treat for our cats. I know all treat, all cats, I mean, love Fancy Feast. We have a set of three 
Boots and Barkley iridescent little foil balls. These are great cat toys, and the iridescent ones are so fancy. Those are the very fancy kind. Then we have a, aww, we have our towel that's red, and it says little cat, it's this smiley cat, it says you're perfect. That's too sweet. And we have another note at the bottom I didn't see. It says to Kitten Academy. Open that right up. Knowing someone special like you is like having Christmas all year through. Dear Kitten Academy, have a Merry Holiday. Meowy Christmas to all the faculty, kittens, and humans at the Kitten Academy. Karen. Karen, this is all so sweet. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for sending all of this. It's, it's really great. And you're right, this hand towel is a doorbell. It's completely adorable. Wow. I'm going to give this all over to DJ so that she can add you to the catalog. <laughs> I love these iridescent sparkling balls. These are the best. Kittens love these things, and the iridescent kind are just eye-catching. We're all used to the little foil-looking ones, but these iridescent ones are something else. Thank you. Wow. And the tissue paper, i got to make another video. i got to get out that ball pit and fill it with tissue paper again. we got to do that. These kittens really need that fun. Okay. You hand this over to DJ in case there is another address on it for her. There you go. I see now that I did open that upside down, by the way. It's very obvious. All right, we got 10 minutes. I don't think that we're going to quite make it. What do you think, DJ? Are we going to a brief overtime? Mm -hmm. Okay. DJ says we're going to overtime. Six. Oh, I can't see it from here. Yes, there's that too. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. We'll try it. We might go to overtime rather than push everything another week if it's just going to be a few minutes. I know... Asking you guys to watch for over two hours is rough, but you know, you don't have to watch it all at once. It'll be archived, and you can always go back and watch some of it later on. But, uh, nonetheless, let's try to do this just a little bit quickly, and I'm sorry, I don't want to make anybody feel like we didn't give them all the attention they deserve, and you all do deserve it. Oh, look at this! Mr. A and DJ. This was a big hit with Song and Fiddle. Song especially loves it. One is for Maggie, and the other is for the main kitten room. Thank you for being the way that you are. J. Lou, Matt, Song, Fiddle, and Molly. Thank you so much. It's the Smarty Cat Hot Pursuit Cat Toy. Smarty Cat Hot Pursuit Cat Toy. Let's just take a look at this thing. Oh, I see. It's like the, uh, it's kind of like the undercover mouse toy where there's a, there's a blanket and then the toy makes the mouse oh, the run around. Turns on the yeah. This looks like a cool one, though, because it's got, like, more of a toy on it than the ones that we've seen before. That looks fantastic. Uh, I'm really excited for that. And I know Maggie is going to like hers. And we will try this out in the main room, too, as soon as we get everything kind of settled. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where to put these, so I'm just going to put them back in this box for now. Uh, J. Lou, thank you so much, and i got to tell you also, uh, I feel like you sent us some chocolate uh, recently, and uh, it's, it's all gone. Um, hold on. Uh, there's nothing else for me to say about that, except that it's all gone. And I'm wearing a onesie today, and, uh, and I've eaten all the chocolate in the house. So, I, you know, it's, at this point, it's almost like I've just given up, isn't it? Really? It's fine. At least I'm happy. Okay, here we have something that DJ thought was dropship from a distance, but it's not. It appears to be hand packed, and it is. Because here's a little note that says, "Have a purry, purry catmus with a drawing of a cat." That's a very good drawing, actually. And let's just see. We can't go too far into overtime because I promised DJ that we would go out to lunch at our favorite Indian place. Which I should mention, it's only our favorite uh, due to proximity. 
<laughs> it's, it's really hard for us to find any Indian around here, so pretty much anything that sells Indian food is going to win. Uh, it is, it's good, though. It's decent. Um, all right. Purry Catmiss, meow. Kalen here, also known as Kalen on the chat. I have sent you a few copies of The Bend, Oregon, weekly paper, since I know Mr. A enjoys that sort of thing. I think they have some articles that might help explain why West Coasters keep saying, I love here, but don't tell anyone. Uh, I have included a treat I think you will enjoy. But the main gift was just two Kitten Academy mailbag worthy to pass up. On that note, I have never understood why Rudolph has a rep as being creepy. In fact, my BFF's kid has like, oh, has like ten of them, and they are her favorite. You can't read young people's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like, says Rudolph, and then has uh, my BFF's kid has like ten of them, and they are her favorite. <laughs> Look, hey, I couldn't. I, it's right at the end, so I didn't know what was coming next, and it could have said has like loaf of them. Okay, uh, whatever. I know, loaf doesn't make any sense there. I just had to get the context. All right, maybe the deer I've included can redeem Rudolph. The card is not of cats, but it is my own art. Wow, that's fantastic, and I hope you enjoy it. Kitten Academy is my refuge from the insanity of the world. I am deeply grateful to all that you do for us. Thank you, Mr. A and DJ. Lots of love and gratitude, Kaylin. That's K-A-Y-L-I-N, Kaylin, on the chat. Kaylin, that is amazing. Is that a poppy, I believe? It looks like a poppy to me. I'm not a, an expert on flowers or anything, but it's so beautiful. The color and the light that you've used there is phenomenal. Kaylin, wow. That's some serious art. That's not just like, oh, hey, I made an art. Hang it on your fridge. That's like real art right there. Okay. And let's see what we got here. Okay. First off... Uh, we have a really cutely wrapped thing. Oh, uh, Chestnut wants the chili pepper toy or the yeah. fish? Oh, I don't know. Fish. I don't know. Look at this. This is too cool. This is the local paper, the Source Weekly. And uh, look at that. The cool uh, front page that they've done here. And we have a couple of other ones. Somewhere. From Oregon. And this one says, this one has a bud guide because you know Oregon. Still really cool covers on this thing. These are super arty. And this last one says, I am quoted in this one. That's not me, of course. That's Kaylin that's quoted in this one. I seriously doubt when it says, you know, me, but no, it's Kaylin. Kaylin's quoted in this one. I'm excited to read through these Source Weekly, and you know that... They're just, it's just Gracie and Finch. They're just playing. I think they're just playing. All right, Gracie. Gracie, give Finch a chance to get away. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much for sending the source. As I was just about to say before we were so rudely interrupted. Um, <laughs> Uh, DJ and I are, have been making the list of places that we could potentially move, and Oregon is on the list, although I think we'd probably try to stay out of Portland because it's very, so populous, um, you know, lots of people there. Uh, but Oregon's on the list, and uh, I was just looking at uh, Dallas, too, for reasons that should be obvious. And uh, Dallas has some incredibly low housing prices. I'm just amazed at how much house you can get there for not nearly as much as you would have to spend here. Um, all right, this is probably going to find that a lot of places, though. I think this is one of the more expensive housing markets in northern Illinois. This is a really cute bag. It's got these little kittens and hearts on it that say meow. And inside the bag, we have... Oh, I, really, I, I think I have to try some of this right now. It is Oregon Hazelnut Toffee. And this hazelnut toffee is flavored with cardamom and vanilla, and I am starving. And I am I'm actually going to try a piece right now because I can't resist, and it sounds so good. Oh, okay. DJ says she wants some too. Oh, oh wow, that is so good. I love cardamom and chocolate. Hang on, hang on, I'll tell you all about this. Mm. That's the 
perfect amount of cardamom. That makes it um, like a very cardamom and sweets is a very Indian thing to do. Try to eat. Uh, mm. Maybe that's what I usually eat on this thing. This mug is beautiful. And it's got a reindeer cat on it, along with all these other animals. That's great. Kaylin, is this also your art? I, I don't know that it is. I just can't believe that you found something like this with all these normal animals on it and a reindeer cat. That seems so strange and random, unless you made this especially for us. Anyway, wow, oh, that cardamom chocolate is fantastic. Wow. Can I have another tiny piece? Uh, the thing I was going to say is that I sometimes make some candy, and one of the things that is my specialty that I have created entirely on my own is a recipe for a cardamom uh, toffee, and uh, it's, I'm oh, sorry, caramel, yes, that's what I meant to say, it's sort of in between, it's sort of a harder uh, caramel, they make these little candies that I wrap them up, and they're very heavily flavored with cardamom, and they're fantastic, if I say so myself, I think they're great, yeah. oh, that's really good though, cardamom and sweets, very good. This mug is so cool. Mm. That is a cool mug. Wow, that's so good. That's not going to last a day. Can you leave one for me? Mm. Not eat it all. You just had your share. That was it. That was your share. You just had it. Okay. Wow. So here we are with our Cat Yoga Master Box. I've been excited to see what's in this one. Because it has a cat yoga master on it. When do you ever see that? Oh my gosh, that's so good. I want more. I'm not going to have more right now. I'm saving myself for the Indian food, but wow. So good. Okay. Here we start with a note. It says, Wow. Oh, homemade? I get it. Here we have. A card that has cats in stockings, a photograph. What a great photo. That must have been hard to get. And then on the inside it says, Hello, I've written once before, but have not used Discord very much. I hope to change that very soon once I find your link to the login again. These are a few gifts to you, DJ, and what I call the Kitten Academy family, because I have enjoyed so much watching the mailbags and seeing all the cats and kittens grow and flourish. The fosters are all beautiful, and so are the people who adopt them. Two, Mr. A, DJ, Elsie, and the Kitten Academy faculty, Acro, Ari, Custard, Eddie, Loganberry, and Dear Smokey, may the holidays be filled with your favorite things. Merry Christmas, Pat D, who is Pat D in Colorado on Discord. Pat D in Colorado, Thank you so much, and you have sent, I can see, some of our favorite things already. Uh, oh, and some of them are labeled. I see. We have six sets of Sheba meaty tender sticks. These treat sticks, treat sticks are some of the best things for cats. Um, I mean, I don't know how well they are health-wise. I have no idea. But I do know... They love them, and I love them, because they're so easy to give as treats. Uh, you know, you don't get your fingers all messy or anything. Fantastic. And each one of these is labeled for a different member of the faculty. We have chicken for custard. We have tuna for Eddie. We have turkey for Logan. We have whitefish for Ari. We have salmon for Acro. And we have beef for Smokey. Six flavors for six kittens. That's so cool. Thank you for that. We also have, oh wow, a Christmas hedgehog for Elsie. Oh, that's a noisy one. Yeah, I think they're just interested. Okay, here we have something for Mr. A from Pat D in Colorado that's wrapped. Thank you so much, Pat. I'm thanking you in advance. So, the 
their socks, and on the top, the regular part, the socks look perfectly Elsie normal. I know. Hi, Elsie. We'll get it to you in a second. So the socks look perfectly normal, but on the bottom of the socks, the part that you walk on, it says, bring me some coffee. So if I'm sitting and I put my feet up, people can read the secret message. It says, bring me some coffee. It's perfect. It is perfect for when I'm sitting around in the basement with DJ. Wow. Thank you so much, Pat. There's also a gift here to DJ, and I'm going to go ahead and open it on her behalf. Because I know that's what she would want me to do if only she were here to say so. <laughs> oh, okay. She's done the same thing for DJ. Perfectly regular socks, but on the bottom part, where you can't see, it says, please rub my feet. <laughs> you know us too well. Too well. Wow, those are really cute socks. I like that idea, too. All right, and there's one more thing, and it's very, very heavy. It says, to Kitten Academy from Pat D., and it weighs about five pounds. Oh, goodness, I see. It is a stone, a rock. And the rock is to put in your garden or out on your front porch or as a paperweight or bring it inside in the winter, it says. And the rock says, saving one cat will not change the world, but for that one cat, the world will change forever. So true. Wow, Pat, thank you so much. These are some fantastic gifts. And um, I'm trying to consolidate some boxes, but I guess I'll put this stuff back in the box and hand it to DJ, and then she can add you to the catalog. I guess you do. Yeah. Well, I can't read it to you, so here you get the whole thing. I don't know what it's going to be. Here you go. Wait, I'm working on it. Okay. Too far ahead of DJ. I guess I'll give her this in a second. But we're not going to slow down. We are five minutes over time. We have four packages to get through. We can do this. We can totally do this, people. We can do this. We're going to power through. Lightning round, okay? Lightning. Is lightning round? It is. It's the lightning round. I'm going to be fast and bright like lightning. Or maybe I'll just be loud like thunder. What? Just push that out of here. There you go. Okay. Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas. Hope this mischievous kitty makes you smile. Thank you for all that you do for the kitties, mom, cats, and faculty. From Leah Blue on Discord. That's L E A H dash B L U. And let's see, the Amazon guy that tied this bag did not go quite so nuts. That was much easier. Oh, what is this? Oh, I love it! <laughs> oh, my God. I really like this. laughing like that emoji of you. I'm sorry. This is really cool. <laughs> it's a mischievous cat. It's a mischievous cat. It's a cat sculpture, and the cat is totally destroying these garden gnomes. It's got one in its mouth and one in each paw, and it's kicking one. And it says, Garden Gnome Massacre. <laughs> it, is a, it is a cat that is performing a garden gnome massacre. That is so cool. I'm going to have to put this in one of our potted plants or something. It is so awesome. And it's labeled here. <laughs> this is great morning. This hilariously awesome cat is so cool that you should be worried your friends may kidnap him. Weatherproof, so it's fine to use outside. Perfect gift. Uh, let's see. Cute pink no nose because cats shouldn't have to sacrifice being adorable while sniffing out gnomes. High quality. A cat this fierce and intimidating is obviously made of the most durable resin material so that he can wreak havoc on gnomes for years. 
This is so cool. Leah Blue, thank you. I have no idea where you found something like that, but I obviously love it. And here's the note for you. And we will definitely use this bag. These Amazon gift bags are just so useful. I will hand it to you momentarily. Here we go. That's really cool. I like that a lot. It wasn't obvious. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is a very big box. Oh! Oh my goodness! What? Yes, what? Hang on, there's got to be a note here somewhere that explains who perpetrated this madness. Here we go. Aww. Okay, well this is simple. It says, just a few things for the tree and bird endowments, Pat M.M. Uh, we met Pat at the Kitten Academy convention. Thank you so much for sending these, Pat. Pat has sent six, um, six of the orange ball tracks. Six of those. That's so amazing. I think that's enough for all the leftover, leftover kitties. I say leftover like they're not important, like they're just leftover. Uh, I mean all the kittens that are still here, though. You don't want this? Um... Wow, Pat MM, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for that. You got six of those. So everybody gets one. Yes, you get a tower track, and you get a tower track, and you get a tower track. Everybody gets a tower track. Pat, that's awesome. Thank you so, so much. All right, ow, oh, oh got a little bit of there, okay. All right. Here we have what's almost become a weekly tradition. We have our letter from Sarah in Japan. And let's see what Sarah in Japan has sent us this week. I actually think maybe this is from last week, right? That's fine. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is so cute. We have a little... Japanese Christmas stocking. It's a tiny one. It says Merry Christmas. Very cute. Wow. So seasonal, Sarah. And then, of course, we have the latest edition of Lucy the Cat. It is a Lucy the Cat Christmas, the fifth book in the Lucy the Cat series. Well, that's fantastic. And your letterhead says, Kitten Academy. Dear Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time with your adorable kittens. As always, we do appreciate all of your dedication and hard work. Lucy has been so happy with your warm welcome that she's become Santa Claus this week. Mm -hmm. The author is from Finland, Santa Claus's hometown, so hope you can enjoy peeking at a Finnish Christmas today. You know, I did think this name didn't sound very Japanese to me. Per Perti, uh, I'm going to butcher it, okay? Perti A. Pitarnin. Pitarnin? I, you know yeah, what? The original series was by a Huh. I, I, you know, I didn't really think about it, but I guess now that you say that, it makes perfect sense. And then obviously it's translated by Sarah. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, oh, let's see, uh, Kitten Academy has such gorgeous Christmas trees, and so does Lucy on page two and three. Oh, Lucy does have a beautiful Christmas tree. Look at that. You guys get snow in Japan? I don't even know. Lucy's in Japan, I believe. Really? I think so. Wouldn't that be where the author is? I don't know. The author may be also in Japan. No, I'm from Finland. That doesn't mean in Finland. There's also one by the dinner table on page 12. Oh. Well, wherever you are, there's definitely snow. Let me, uh, and you are in Japan. We see that. Okay. So now we've got all of the answers. All of the answers are within the book, so there is snow, and it is Japan. And there we know. 
Uh, there's also one by the dinner table on page 12. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's not just a Christmas tree by the dinner table. It's Lucy at the dinner table saying, I'm ready for the party, but where are all the others? Where's the food? Fish and beef, please. And bring me some old cheddar cheese. So cute. Your Magnolia, the mom cat, loves to climb everything. Cat trees, screen windows, curtains, etc. Well, Lucy likes to climb Christmas trees on page 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So true. She also loves to check Christmas gifts on page 21, just like your adorable kittens love to check the presents from your sweetest patrons. I can see that too. Checking out the stockings and the gifts. Please turn to the next page to see what she got from Santa. Oh, it's some mice! One big mouse and three small ones, or maybe the big one is a mole. Now I can play throughout Christmas. So cute. Hope that you can enjoy hanging the enclosed stockings so that Santa Claus can put something for you too, and that your current kittens will meet kindest foster families just like this school. Lucy is bringing her friends other cat books to celebrate Christmas here at Kitten Academy during Christmas season. The more the merrier. Please take care and have a beautiful week. Sincerely, Sarah. And if we look here on Amazon J Japan, the Japanese Amazon site, the number one Christmas cat book is Lucy the Cat Christmas Bilingual Japanese and uh, Japanese English. I'm sorry, it says there. The number one, it's above Dr. Seuss, Cat in the Hat. I mean, who is this guy anyway? Dr. Seuss, nobody's ever heard of him. But Lucy the Cat is a celebrity. That is fantastic. That's so amazing. Congratulations on being the number one children's cat book. And as I always point out, um, all of these are every page in Japanese and English. So if you are a time traveler that has arrived and only knows how to speak the language of the future, Japanese, um, you may want one of these books with you so that you can learn how to speak English when you arrive in the old ancient year of 2017. So it's, um, wow, that's a very specific application. It is a very specific application, but I think that it will be useful to you. So time travelers, uh, I definitely recommend Lucy the Cat when you travel back in time. Bring Lucy the Cat. It will be your Rosetta Stone, and you will be able to speak of us, uh, speak to us of everything that is important. Are they watching the video in the future? Or? Well, of course they are. We all know that the only thing that survives the, the great uh, Holocaust of 2020 is YouTube and Lucy the Cat books. I mean, that's just, everybody knows that. That's how it goes. Uh, Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, though. Seriously, Lucy, for another, I'm um, Lucy, Sarah, for another fantastic Lucy book. We will add it to our collection. That's so wonderful of you. Uh, for now, I'm going to tuck it into another box here. There we go. Just like that. And one more box. See here? Oh, okay. There. What's that? Okay. You mean you expected more food in this week's mailbag? Is that what you're saying? No, she messaged me and Oh. Well, I don't know what this is. This is mysterious. This is very mysterious. Let's see if the shipping label provides any clues to who it is from. Oh, well, here we have another one from Lucia. We did not expect. It is a Beekman 1802 uh, goat milk body wash. Whoa. Well, that's very fancy, too, Lucia. Thank you so much, and Merry Christmas to you. It's, uh, it's very hard to know in advance who any of these things are from. Oh, wow, this is very fancy. Look at that. Well, I, I don't know how to show it to you guys. So there's two bottles in here with little, uh, it comes with pumps, but the pumps are not installed, and it says Beak 18 to Goat Milk Body Wash. I bet it smells fantastic. I gotta know. Oh, yeah. 
Uh-oh. If I can get the seal off, I can find out. I can't, I can't, I can't get it off. Oh, yeah, I can focus with this. Oh, that smells great. That smells like a spa. That's fantastic. Lucia, thank you so much. Wow, you did not have to send us so much stuff. It looks like there are three of those in here. So we are body washed up for a while. All of my soap needs are cared for, yes. There are three sets of two of those, so that's six total body washes. I am going to be the cleanest person in the entire... You're not supposed to use it all at once. Oh. Well, then I'll be kind of clean. I'll use some of it, and I'll be kind of clean. Thank you, Lucia. Thank you to everybody that sent us amazing stuff. I mean, this is... This is this has been a phenomenal mailbag, and yeah, we're 15 minutes over our absolute last cutoff time, but uh, just, I don't, I can't, you're all fantastic people, and I really can't say it enough. Um, Merry Christmas, by the way, to all of you, and I hope that your Christmas is as great as ours already is, um, and filled with kittens, like ours will be. Um, so, uh, thank you, and uh, well... I'll catch up with other thoughts in tonight's close-up. For now, my tummy's grumbling, my back's a little sore. I'm going to try to get all this stuff out of the room and uh, get dressed so that I can go out for lunch uh, with DJ. Or, or can I wear what I have on? Can I wear this? Yeah. <laughs> she says yeah. She says yeah, but her eyebrows say no. Um, okay. Thank you all so much. All right, DJ's going to help me get all this stuff out of the room. I'm going to turn off the archive. Uh, you're all... Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Uh, you're all fantastic people, though. Thank you so, so much. Gracie, can I take your picture while you're doing that? Because that's pretty cute. Mystery Kitten Academy post-it notes are from Sia Kona. So thank you so much, Sia Kona. Much appreciated.
he saw me. I don't know if it's the onesie or my shoes or what, but he was legitimately scared for his life and ran away. take my shoes off because it was just freaking Ari out too much. Now you can see my socks. They're pretty cool.
Let me just put it in the box for now. We'll put it out later. Noses and everything. That was very, very polite. That's everything. Now let's just get the kittens that are belong in in and the kittens that belong out out. <sighs> Maggie, you're one of the ones that belongs out. Come on. Yeah, I know. You too, love him, man.
Okay, the only one we're missing. 